Hello and welcome to Code Club. In this Code Club, we are going to be doing a fun hour of code exercise using Scratch. So I'm going to make myself smaller and I'll put myself up here. And you can see that this Pokemon game was given to us by Code Speak Labs. So thank you very much. All right, so I put the link for this program, this um, Code Club, in the description. So you can just click on this and it's going to bring you to this page. You do want to come here because I'm only going to go over step one and there are three steps to this particular game that you're going to create. So the first thing we're going to do before we even get to step one is we're going to open scratch.mit.edu. So I'm already logged in, but you can log in. So pause me. All right. Thank you. Come back. And now we're going to go to create. So we're going to get a game started. So right now we have our generic sprite and we have everything set up. So remember, this is your workspace. This is where you can drag your code to. And this is what's going to show us what we've already created. So now I'm going to go back here and it looks like now we have to find a sprite. So we need to pick a Pokemon that has an evolution tree. If possible, try to find one that has three different evolutions. So we're going to click on this and we're going to come in here. And we're going to see. So it looks like a lot of them don't have three, but you can pick either your favorite and go with two or you can do three. So I'm going to look at this Abra. So there's different versions of Abra depending on which generation you like best. Um, so I kind of like this one because it's just a little bit bigger. So I am going to save the image. So remember, you can right click on them and save the image. So this is going to be Abra. And then we go back and then we go to Kadabra. And he's much bigger as you can see. So I'm going to use generation seven, the same thing and save him. And then I'm going to go back and grab the last one, which is the Alakazam. So I actually like the one with the pink, even though I know I used the earlier one up here. I think I like the pink guy. Be shiny. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing and save. Put him in here. All right. So we have those saved. Now we have to find a rare candy so that way they can eat them so they can level up. We're going to come here to items. So you can either find one that goes with your specific Pokemon, or you can just type in and look for candy. So you want one that has a picture because you're going to need to use it. All right. So I like this rare candy. It's packed with energy. So we're going to click on this one the same way. Hit save image. And then I'm going to put this in here. All right, so once we have all of that, we're gonna upload these into Scratch. So I'm gonna go to Scratch. I'm going to change this program so I know that it is Hour of Code and it's Pokemon. And now I'm gonna get rid of this sprite because I don't need him. And I'm gonna come down to the little cat head and I'm gonna hit the Upload Sprite button. So these two are right next to each other, so I'm gonna put them in together and then I'm going to grab the other two and then we have you and this rare candy. Joe's going to have to do those two seconds. So I'll do that and that. So we have all of our different items now in here ready for use. So remember this is your background. So over here we can set the stage and we can create a background or we can use one that's already in here. So this guy, I think I'm going to send him to the forest. Yeah, that looks good. You can actually see him and he's right there. So move these guys around so I can see them all. The candy, I might make the candy a little bit bigger. It seems a little small. Okay. Now you can see it. Okay. So that is step one for you. So now you're going to come down here and if you want to rewatch this, you can watch this video and go through those same steps. 
or you can go on to step, step two, and we're going to add the movement to make the Pokemon move. So if you watch this video, it's going to take you through how to do that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next month. Bye for now.